Welcome back to part two of Happy Birthday July. I'm going to finish up your birthday tree for your celebration month. And we'll just pick up where we left off. I'm going to put in a few twists. Keep it nice and simple. I know these don't look like rubies, but they're not red. There's something in between, not a cherry apple red, they're not quite a ruby. But because your birthday stone is ruby, I thought that today we would celebrate you. So happy birthday. Wrap that around again for a second time. Just pass it down. And again, if you're new here, welcome. I have lots of beautiful trees in playlists, in both in bracelets and in four inch, five inch, six inch. Lots of beginner friendly tutorials. I did try and keep everything in a playlist that you could access easily for full instructions and also playlists where you can find where I buy my materials which would be on Amazon or Michaels not often Michaels as much as Amazon don't have well, much more to go. We will lace and embellish this project because it went by fast. And we're almost done. It won't take long. I run around the hoop again, like that, cross it over, and bring it up again, and let's do it one more time on this one. We are getting close to the end of beating this beautiful birthday tree, celebration tree of life. Clear up a little bit of my mess. Ooh, we're going to push those two little wires down. So easy. Especially with the tweezers, guys. No more pliers for me. Not from the beginning. There we go. When I first started, I started with tweezers and a nail clipper. I say it all the time. If this is your craft, if you'd like to try, keep it simple. It doesn't have to be crazy, crazy expensive. It just has to be worth it beautiful. And so far, 
There's no denying that. I'm sure you agree that this was quick and easy. It didn't take us much time at all. I hope you enjoyed your time. I know I did. There we go. Get these done two at a time. You don't have to. I'm just I just do it that way. I've been doing it for a long time. The little things that you need to remember, like supporting your work. Speed will come as you make them. This is the last one. So I'll beat them separate so I don't forget that little leaf at the bottom to match it up on both sides. But before I do that, I'd like to support my work right there and put in a few more twists like that. Hopefully that wasn't too many. This time went by fast, I do have to say. Three four millimeter bicones. Slide them down. Make your little leaf. Bring that wire up and hold on to it while you twist, right? there. And now, add your beads. And something tells me this last one may not fit. <clears throat> not until we bend our wire. Then we'll make it fit. Actually, we're going to bend our wire. We don't have to, but I would like to. So I'm just going to hold on to my work put a little bend right here and here and here and in there like that and now that fits perfect bring it up and over up cross it over like that oops still holding on to those two wires we'll cut this and then we'll go back to the other one that I didn't right here and now we'll bend those back there we go and here's the last branch of our beautiful tree the celebration tree of life for your birthday in July now we're just going to move those roots down just a little bit and I will present you with that beautiful tree. Now, I'm just going to clean up a little bit. And we're going to continue on. 
So what we're going to do next is something that I do with every tree. If you're new here, I lace. You, I can, this wire is all around unraveling. I wrap with 24 gauge wire. This is it. The wire that we're using on the tree is 22. You can use that as well. I do this to secure my branches so they don't move around like this and weaken my wire and break my branch. Don't measure it. I just go loosely around the circumference of my tree like this and then I cut it off. I do have a playlist that goes into great detail on lacing or wrapping your tree. I'm just going to go right along. If you'd like to see the tutorial slowed down, that's where to find it. So I just went through the, the big space right here in my hoop. I wrap that wire around my hoop. Again, I'm going to wrap it, bring it up, I'm going to cross it over the top of that branch the same way we do with every branch. I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to catch that wire. It's just not as long. Bring it across like that and push that little tail down all the way around the neck of your branch. Now you've secured your wire. I like to go back down the same way we came up because I want to cross over the neck of this first branch. So bring your wire across the top Pass it down like that and hold on to it. That makes it so that this branch no longer moves like these. And we're going to make all of them as secure as that. Because they're so close together, we don't need to wrap individually in between every branch on the hoop. I might do that here and there. By that, I mean I'll show you. Instead of going across the next branch, it does help not to hold so tight right there on, on your branch. Wrap it around your hoop one time. You can see this little wire. And then hold on to the next branch after you get it into position, the, the position you would like it to stay in, because afterwards it's not going to move. Bring it up, go to the next branch over the neck of that branch like that bring it up slide your finger around to your next one supporting your work around the whole entire tree as you go so that they don't move because then you defeat your purpose see they're not moving they're nice and secure and you're guaranteeing that your work will stay nice and preserved Just as the day you made it. And bring it up and around. Slide your index finger to every branch that you work on. You've got a little kink. That's okay. We'll take it out on the back side. Just gently undo it like that. And carry on. Like that. So easy. It's a step that you really shouldn't skip, in my opinion. And I created this lacing or wrapping because I noticed after putting a jump ring that my wire, my beads, my branches would separate like this and I would have a big space and I didn't like it. So I worked hard on my, my craft. And I want to keep it the way I make it. And if I made this for you for your birthday, I would want it to look the same every year. And that's why I lace. It's easy. And it's crazy worth it. Bring it up. And slide your next branch. And pass that down. And move the next one a little bit. that all the way around and we'll be done with this project 
in no time. And I managed to get your birth your birthday tree in. You know it's late. But it's done. In a tree of life birthstone tree, whether it's in a four inch hoop or a bracelet, is easy to make and it's a perfect gift. For someone you love, for welcoming a new baby, for an ornament. a good craft. If you've never made a tree, I would love for you to try. I think that you would definitely want to make another one. So this is what I do. And to put this in a window, all these crystals will create a beautiful, beautiful radiant amount of light and reflectiveness in the room. And then we have one more. Oops. Hang on to your hoop. And then we're going to pass that down again. Come back. Cross over that last branch. Like that. Bring it up and over. Now we're going to cut that little tail off right there, just like we've done all along. Going to push that down like that. And now, my friends, this tree goes nowhere. So we'll carry on to the next step, which is embellishment. And Unfortunately, the only thing I have to add here is a clear crystal quartz, but it's pretty. It is very pretty. So, this pendant is a clear crystal quartz. I did get it on Amazon. You will find them in a playlist so that you can see where to get them. I share it that way because I don't know any other way to do it. But I would like you to be able to see where I get my my items, if you're interested. And it also helps to eliminate a lot of questions. Where'd you get that? Because I can't list it. So I don't get anything for writing them. I don't get any commission. I just want to share so you'll have an idea on what I use and where to get it from. And how pretty is that? The only thing left on this project now to add a chain for hanging. If you don't want to add a chain, you can add a ribbon. You can hang it on a hook. It's your tree. Figure out who you're going to give it to and how it's going to be hung. But for me, I like to use a chain. And hopefully, it won't give me too much grief with placement. So I'm thinking I would like to put my first jump ring here. I'm going to just go about this like it never gives me grief. And that is the furthest thing from the truth. <laughs> I do struggle to get them in the right place and to close the jump ring without using two pairs of pliers like you should. It's easier for me to do it that way. And now we'll see where the next one should go. And I'm thinking I should put it right here, but my tree is telling me otherwise. Let me see. You can move your roots. You're not going to be able to move the top of your tree, but you can move your roots. And that is the back of my tree. I like it this way. That's the way that I twisted it out. That's the way I would like it to stay. I think I'm going to put my jump ring right here. Keep your fingers crossed for me that it is the right place. And that would be the perfect ending to this tutorial. And there we have it. Let's see if it's in the right place. Let me check first. 
and then I'll tell you. I think it is. Tell me what you think. Is that not a beautiful tree of life for your birthday? And there we have it. If you liked your tree and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other tutorials. See if there's something that you might be able to make on your own. We'll see you soon, guys. Until next time, stay well. Bye.